Hey guys, it's Charlotte here from charlotteohara.ca and in today's video tutorial I'm going to show you how to add a search box to your Squarespace website. And in this video we're going to cover adding a search box to two different places on your website. So the first off we're going to look at how to add the search box to the footer content of your website, so at the bottom of the page. And then secondly we're going to look at adding a search box to your blog so that you're only searching content that directly comes from blog posts. Alright, and we're going to be working off of a demo site that I created on Squarespace, so just using the free trial for this video purpose. And I'm working off of the Bedford template here, so you can see I've created a demo site that has a fake business all about making money off music and, you know, monetizing um, the beautiful sounds that you create, <laughs> let's say. Alright, so first off, like I mentioned, I'm going to show you how to add this search box like this to the footer content. So you can see I'm on the home page. I've selected the home page from the main navigation and we're going to be working off of that. So when you scroll down to the bottom of the footer content, um, I've added this search box and let me show you how to do that. So basically if we're working backwards, we would just click the footer content, select edit. And then if you hover over it, you can see that this is a search content block. So to add that, if I wanted to do it, let me just delete and then add again. I would click on this little insert button, which is going to open up the content blocks where you can search it. And then in here, click search. <laughs> and this will fill up the section with a search box. But we're not done yet. So first off, we have to decide what we want to search, whether we're limiting the parameters or not. And in this case, because we're on the home page and we would like to search the content from the entire website, we will not click this button to search specific pages. That'll come into play a little bit later, so keep an eye on that. But for now, do not click that on the home page. Next up, we hover over to the display tab. And if you'd like, you can select the quick preview or you can uncheck it. It's totally up to you there. But we do have to decide whether we want a light or a dark theme. So as you can see, the background theme or the background um, of the footer content on the default of the Bedford template, it's quite dark. So you could keep it dark or you could flip it over to light. And then that really just might change some of the text or like the icon there, but totally up to you. And depending on the design you have of your site, you could pick light or dark. And once that's done, you just click apply and then save and you're good to go. So there you go, you've got now a search box added to the footer content of your Squarespace site. And if someone starts typing something in here, it will search the content of the entire site. So really good way to you know, let people look for content that they want. All right, so that's one place you might want to add a search box to your website, but another common place is on the blog. So if we're going to go over here, let me give you an example so you can see what I mean. So this is an example of a, you know, an alternate blog format, in which case we do have the blog posts populated down below here. So these are just example ones, but above it, um, I've given the reader the option to use a search box and, you know, that way they can cite, they can search through the content of all of the blog posts. So right now, while I only have three, it's, you know, not super necessary, but imagine once you start having like a dozen or hundreds of blog posts, then this feature might be really useful for you. So with this, let me draw your attention over here and you can see that we're, we've created a page. Um, so this is like, if you're making it from scratch, you would click this page here, like a, a traditional page, as opposed to just a plain blog because a plain blog will just show the posts, but it won't give you the option to add a search box. So if you do want the search box on the blog page, you would click here and then I'll show you how to add it and edit it from there. All right. So, oops, going back to this blog post, we've got, you know, a page created here and then up at the top of the page content, like this is just a text block, as you can see. Um, so a plain text box that you would have like inserted by clicking text. And then this search box that we've added here, this is where we would have gone through and selected search. But in this case, it's going to be a little bit different because we're going to click the search specific page option in the content section. 
right? And now because we only want to search through specific blog posts, that's where we're going to click blog and then apply. All right, so now I've got two of them, so I can just delete one. It doesn't really matter which one because they're both the same thing. But yeah, now if someone uses the search bar, they're only going to be able to search through the content of the specific blog posts. So if they do want to search through the content of the entire website, they would do so by using the main search box in the footer of the page. And then as you can see, all of the blog posts that are down below, I've just done this by using a summary block. So to do this, you would just um, go down to where it says summary, click list, and then select content from the blog and hit apply. So there we go. Now I've got two of them, but again, just delete this one for the sake of our demo. All right, so now you can see it's really easy to add search boxes to your Squarespace website, whether you want to add it to a particular page like the blog page of your site or to the bottom of the page in the footer content. Um, either way, very simple to do, but it packs a punch and really helps your users to navigate through the website and find the content that they're looking for. So if you did like the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up or even better, leave me a comment down below. And you can also hit the red subscribe button, which will keep you up to date anytime a new video is added to this channel. And also be sure to check out my website, which is charlotteohara.ca. And on my site, I've got lots more tutorials for you, as well as more content that covers things like Squarespace, website design and development, tech tips, and lots more. So again, my site is charlotteohara.ca and I've also linked to it below in the video description. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you later. Bye.